Elias Sime is one of Africa's acclaimed contemporary artists. He creates intricate tapestries from technological detritus, braiding wires and a collage of computer circuit boards to create visually stunning abstract works. For over two decades, he's been collaborating with Meskarum Asagud, who has been pivotal in enabling his work to reach a wider international audience. I'm a strong believer that um, collaboration, any kind of relationship, is, is key to a lot of success. These two pioneers are also the co-founders of the groundbreaking Zoma Museum in Addis Ababa. They have also created public gardens with sculptural landscapes that blur the boundaries between art, gardens and architecture. Their first collaboration was in 2002, when they established an art centre and residence that became a platform for Elias to showcase his artistry. This is Zoma Contemporary Art Center. This place is where we began, it's like our baby. And, um, and we are very sensitive about it. It's made with mud and straw. And the reason why is because the city administration told us that if we can get a restoration or permit, the process was much easier. So that's what we did. And what was here was mud building. And so the artwork happened with that because it's so much fun to work with mud. And it also went along with what we were planning to do, which is uh, vernacular architecture. I'm working on a piece of art, or pieces of art. These are all kinds of creatures here, and they're all carved. And this is Elias Sime who carved all this uh, stone. Every door is a work of art. When we go inside, we see this wood mosaic made with all kinds of different wood. The colors are the actual colors of the wood. And if you look in this house, every window is like a frame. It's meant to bring the outside to the inside. And you can see the walls are not straight. Some are in, some are out. A lot of the work that you see, there is a lot of Elias here. You know, every door is made by Elias. And all the wood carving that you see on the doors or um, on the wall are all made by Elias. Yeah, this is a small Zoma. As well as working with wood, stone and mud, much of Elias's early art pieces involve stitching yarns and sewing buttons on canvas. And there are similarities with his more recent work, where he braids cables, dissects and reshapes circuit boards to create abstract works of art that are metaphorical and explore the human condition. Uh, 
እንቱን አለኝ ምናልባት ምንለኩም ብስሽ ሚራዳኝ ሚሰማኝና ምሰራው ምክንያቱም ቴክኖሎጂው ራሱ እየቀደመ ነው ኢን ምሰራበት ምክንያት ቆመን እንድናስብ ነው ቴክኖሎጂ ያስፈልግም ይሚል እንትን የለኝም አስፈልገኝም አይደለም ይያልኩ ያለውት ያስፈልጋል ኦኬ ግን ብዙ ነገር ይወሰደብን ነው የተለያዩ አይዲያዎች ነው ማውራቱን ፈልጋ አንዳንድ ጊዜ ስለ ህይወት አንዳንድ ጊዜ ስለ ፍቅር አንዳንድ ጊዜ ስለ ላንድስኬፕ አንዳንድ ጊዜ ኤሊየስ ኮንቲኒውስ ቱ ኤክስፕሎር his vernacular architecture. In 2019, he and Mesquim co-founded the Zoma Museum, an environmentally conscious international art center that was also home to a library, gardens, and a school. And like the aesthetic developed in Little Zoma, many of the buildings were constructed using traditional building techniques. the sculptural relief work and carvings on their outer walls elevating them to works of art he sees Zoma as uh, an institution of incubation i think we see ourselves as incubators and um as such i think uh, we can work with many institutions around the world who can either learn from us or even bring new knowledge to us it's a place where we exchange knowledge or we work together we are the strong believers that collaboration is much better than competition many of the buildings here at zoma are built uh, with traditional buildings or what you call vernacular architecture which is uh, found all over the world this particular building that you see here is made from mud and straw. All the artworks that you see on the wall, they're actually molded directly on the wall, are made by Elias Sime, and they're all narratives. Each building has its own narrative. Like the wall I'm sitting in right now has our logo behind me, and then it has, uh, when you walk around it, it has all the Ethiopian uh, Guinness um, numbers, and then other walls have different stories. These buildings are extremely sustainable. Also, you don't need air conditioning. Uh, right now, we're sitting in a house built with mud, and the, the temperature is consistent. When it's very hot, it's similar. When it's very cold, it's similar. It keeps it relatively warm. That in itself is an environmentally sound construction technique that's been around for thousands of years. Zoma's striking earthen architecture and its environmentally sustainable ethos attracted many plaudits. And after visiting Zoma, the Ethiopian Prime Minister invited Elias and Meskerem to build a public garden which was being established in the grounds of the presidential palace. The whole idea was how do you transform that compound so it could become a tourist attraction as well as how do you make an environmentally sound and so we did Elias and I I think we'll continue doing what we're doing and the whole idea is uh, how do we pass on this institution to the next generation So our future is a few years from now we'll Uh, we both want to retire and um, I'm sure Elias will keep working his art till he dies. I probably will start advising the committee here 
So I don't become the center of Soma, but I become the advisor. That is really my dream um, of what this place should be.